her muse was one of the first things we had to demolish in order to start the nature center project. And so in that process, a bird that had been in one spot for 17 years was suddenly moved to a new area. So everything she'd seen kind of disappeared overnight. And then now we throw in all these new sounds of drills and cranes. Uh, and so not surprised we saw a lot of uh, kind of wary behavior from the birds. What's going on? This is a new stimuli. And of course, one stimuli that has been very constant over the past uh, 40 years at Shavers Creek is people here every day coming through. And uh, we obviously haven't had the parades of people, so uh, it's been replaced by these new sights and sounds. So that's also one of the reasons that we've been training the birds is to kind of create positive relationships with the people uh, that care for those animals and to let them know that even though things out there might be kind of confused, you're not sure, uh, we're going to work with you and, and earn your trust and, and let you know that we're you know, here to take care of you. And um, so part of that uh, process is as we reopen will be to reacclimate them to large crowds again and, and the new spaces. Um, you know, from, if you think from a human point of view, some of the most stressful uh, life changes are starting a new job or moving to a new, new area. And in this case, all these birds are going to be shifted to uh, new mews here within the next two months. And so there'll be a reacclimation period for them there as they learn their new spaces as we figure out where they want to perch. Uh, you know, where does the light hit in the morning so we can make sure they get that early light. So it's going to be a really exciting opportunity uh, for us and for our students that are here to really have the opportunity to, to be able to set up a brand new program really uh, for the public and, and for the animals. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge.